You often ask me, what's the best equipment for bird photography? What do you use, Jan? What can I use? Well, actually, it's not that easy to answer because it depends on your circumstances. But I thought it would be fun to look at the snippet from my video, Purge. I'll link it for you in the description along with some other links to the equipment. And see what the equipment is that I've used over the last few years that has taken great bird images for me and has also been very reliable. So let's do that. Before we get into the heavier things, the two most important tools for me are definitely my secateurs to get branches to just cut whatever I need to cut and cable ties to attach branches to trees, to tomato stakes, to whatever I need to attach them to. It's great helpers. And you can see the blind here. This is the only kind of blind I use. I never use pop-up blinds or anything else. I just use a quick throw of a blind. Funny enough, on this property, it's the, we are shooting next to a little cabin. So the birds are semi-used to people. So we will actually not use a blind because we've experienced in the past that using a blind sometimes scares the birds more than just standing there. So for the three days, we will just be standing there without the blind. Before I unveil my equipment though, I think we all agree that you could discuss equipment for days and days and never reach a conclusion as to what's best. So I really want to go just through what I use and what I've experienced over my time as a bird photographer is the best for what I do. So we won't need this either. As my main camera body, I use a Canon 5D Mark IV. I've used almost all Canon camera bodies over the years. And this one has turned out to be my favorite because it's just the best combination for what I do. It has 30 megapixels, which is great, allows me to crop if I need to. It handles high eyes all really well, up to 6400. I don't even really have to think about it and I get nice clean files. The frame rate turned out to be really nice as well. As my main lens, I use a Canon 600 millimeter version two lens. It's a great upgrade from the old 600mm version 1 lens that I used before. It's much lighter, much faster, sharper, focuses nicer. Generally speaking, you want to have at least 500mm of reach on a full frame camera. Otherwise, you will experience that it's very hard to get the bird big enough in the frame to get a very appealing image. Or you end up cropping a lot, which then degrades the image quality a fair bit. So some people might use 150 to 500 millimeter zoom, that's okay. Some people use 300, 1.4. But as I said before, we could discuss all this forever and would never get to any result. You guys always mention my smooth and nice looking creamy backgrounds. And this lens is a big reason that I actually can achieve these backgrounds by getting the perch in a certain position and having a distant background just helps me to get this sort of look I'm after. And Having this lens also helps me tremendously with that. So you can see as well, I've attached a 1.4 extender version three between the camera and the lens. I use that probably 50% of the time. As you experience as well, you can often not get just close enough or the birds are just very small. So I like to have the ability to use a bit of extra reach. So you can see as well, I have a flash attached on a flash bracket that will help me to get more even shots and just balance my images and just handle almost every light situation. You can use it in bright sunlight to even out the shadows. You can use it in overcast condition to give a bit more pop to your subject. And it's just overall a crucial addition to my equipment. So you can see here as well, I'm using just a simple Better Beamer flash extender that just helps me to get greater reach for my flashes. So it still flashes a bird that's 15 to 20 meters away. You might have already been wondering what's that on the side of my camera. It's an external battery pack that I use to give more power to my flash that helps it recycle faster. And this specific pack has been outstanding. It's probably the cheapest pack I've ever come across. This is like $120 or something at Adorama. So it's amazing. It has a lot of capacity. It lasts me for weeks and it has the most power of any packs I've come across. And the coolest feature about it is that I can get this connector cord that allows me to connect one cord from the flash into both outlets of the battery, cutting the recycling time in half to just 0.4 seconds. So 
it just allows me to rapidly fire the flash and it has been a great helper for me. You just see the cords are just connecting the camera to the flash and the flash to the battery. As my tripod head, I'm using a simple Wimberley head. It's a nice gimbal head. It's fairly easy to use and it just allows me to effortlessly move my camera around and aim it in all directions and just get nice stable shots. As my tripod, this has been with me for a while, probably close to seven years. It's an older version, Gitzo tripod, and it's just sturdy and does the job. That should cover the equipment part, and I will address the settings I'll be using during the time you actually see me shooting. And if there's any other things that come up while I'm shooting, I will talk about those as well. But for now, I think that gives you a good overview of what I use, what I don't use, and might help you to make some equipment decisions yourself. So is this the perfect bird photography setup? I know for me it is at the moment. Would it be for you? What's the perfect bird photography setup for you? Let me know in the comments. And before you go, let me show you two more pieces of equipment that I use all the time. One's very simple, costs nothing, tomato steaks, so I can just put them into the ground and attach perches to them. And the other thing I use all the time is this very handy metal spear with a little top that I can actually hammer it into the ground and these really awesome ball heads that allow me to clamp a perch in here and then move it around. That has proven to be very handy for my style of photography and I think it's just a good piece of equipment and because I didn't mention it before, I think it's worth mentioning now. If you're interested in equipment, I'll put a few links for you in the description and yeah, just let me know what's the equipment you use all the time. Do you use little handy things like these clamps that I might not know of, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for more and cool equipment that I can use. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments, like I said, about the gear, if you have any cool little gadgets that I might be able to use. And also, I'm always looking for a new backpack. If you have any backpack recommendations, let me know as well. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.